Okay, so welcome back to this course. In the previous video, we have displayed the currently logged in user in the header. Now let's handle this logout option, right? Simply go back to my VS Code and let's go to the users, product for the users, and oh no, product users. We have to go in the users ready user here. And let's also go to our constants first of all. So users constants. And we have to only get two things the fail and the success so control c that is log out control d sorry log out success and log out fail so we save it control c bring that here Okay, so we save it and now I just need to find here the case that case logout logout success. I simply have to return um, loading to false. Okay. Then also set is authenticated to false because then we have log out the user. Also set the user to null. And for the login fail, oh sorry, logout fail, I simply put in here, uh, right here, the logout fail. Okay, so let's save it. Oh, we don't have to do it because I cannot make user to null because the logout is failed. Sorry for that. So I cut it from here and I put it right here. Sorry for that. I, I, I think so that. So we have to put it in a separate case because we cannot make user to null if logout is failed. So whatever in the state, oops, and we simply have to make the Error to action dot payload. Simple as that. All right. So we save it and just copy these two constants. Go to my actions, user actions, and then in here I simply define. First of all, import these two and go down. And let's let's copy this one. Control C, put in here, log out user, log out, and then the we don't have to send the request. So that is slash API slash log out. Okay, and then we actually don't have to get the data. Let's pass here the logout. Logout success and the logout fail. Okay. So let's simply save it. Go to our header. Go to the top. And here, first of all, I bring in the logout. So const log out from dot dot slash dot dot slash actions user actions sorry <laughs> that is import so from here I'm gonna simply create here logout handler so const logout handler equals to we simply have to dispatch the logout okay that will send the request me back and I make token to null and also we have to simply alert dot success send the message that logs out successfully right and simply go to the bottom to use this 
I simply type here that on click on click I have to simply type here logout handler logout handler simply save it and now let's check it out if I go to my here the other page click on logout and there we go logout successfully and we got here login button if we go to the inspect in the redux uh, so logout log success if we go to state I have nothing in the state user is null and also if I go to the application and then in the cookies you can see that we don't have token here so token is also gone if I click on login now let's log in as Bulan. so the password is G-H-U-L-A-N so login and now you can see that we get here token back alright and and you can see the in my image here which is this one alright so now we can now this has option of dashboard because this is admin alright so I hope that you understand each and everything so this is about the logout and on my next video I also want to show the profile of the current user if you click on this profile I want to display the all details of the user on the profile screen okay so I will see you in the next video